This new facility is for juvenile offenders who have been charged as adults with serious crimes, including murder and rape. This housing unit has the ability to house 10 juvenile females or 10 sentenced females. Warden Kathy Landerken leading the tour of the new $35 million youth detention center located in the 900 block of Greenman Avenue in Baltimore. It's designed following a mandate of maintaining sight and sound separation from adult offenders. We're looking for the outcomes. We only have them for a short period of time. And if we can have them graduate from high school or get engaged in other services, learn how to work a computer, we think their chances are when they do go home, and all, most of our people do go home at some point in time, you know, that they will be a bit more productive citizen when they leave here. Correction staff volunteered to work at the new facility and had to undergo special training. And be um, a whole lot more subtle with, with children and to actually talk them through things and help them out. The facility can hold up to 60 juveniles, male and female, charged as adults. Within the building is a cafeteria, areas for dental care, rooms for medical treatment and suicide observation, all monitored by nurses. They have reduced materials in the cells, less of an ability to self-injure in those cells. A school is also here, the Eager Street Academy, run by Baltimore City Public Schools. To avoid a stigma, juveniles can get their diplomas from their home high schools. From the colors throughout the building, skylights in the ceiling, this gym for recreation, and plenty of family interaction, the mission, according to the warden, is turning around the lives of troubled youths. It can be stressful for the youth and the family to have to go through this, so if it doesn't have to feel like a correctional facility, that can reduce their stress. Public safety officials say that they hope to begin moving juveniles who have been charged as adults into this facility within the next 30 to 45 days. Reporting from Baltimore City, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.